Hello everybody, welcome back to Pancake Gaming. Just this last Thursday, we got our September Nintendo Direct. This was a doozy. Now, it started out with the Splatoon side order, which I honestly am not super interested in, but I feel like I had to talk about it a little. It seems like uh, Pearl is in the form of the drone, and we got some nice color schemes, but... This is really kind of confusing me, because these new enemies look kind of strange. I played quite a bit of Splatoon 3 in my day, and this looks like it, it has potential. It seems like a horde uh, fighting thing. There might be other levels that are more uh, on the obstacle course side of things, like in uh, the normal story mode for Splatoon 3. I played a lot of 2, and I've played a lot of 3. I haven't played in a while, though. But this seems very interesting. What they did with the uh, upgradable uh, perks seems like it's a very good idea. It would be nice to have some speed up or some damage resistance every now and then. Because that just makes the game more efficient, more fun, and it, it's got definitely got a lot of potential. So I'm kind of excited. Then we got Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which is kind of like, there were one leaker who has 100% accuracy leaked said something about Donkey Kong, and they leaked that. And everybody thought that it was going to be a brand new Donkey Kong game, like a brand new 2D or 3D game. But then he came out and uh, disappointed everybody by saying that it was going to be Mario vs. Donkey Kong. And look, look here, it happened today. And I don't care, honestly, at all, so we're just going to move on. Mario RPG. I have never played it, and it looks fun, but I'm not super looking forward to this. But I'm, I've got to say, those graphics are just beautiful. And there's nothing that anyone can say to deny that. They put a lot of work into this game. Now, I might play it. Probably not, honestly. I It just seems like Paper Mario, but worse. But I can't really say that because I've never played it. I've seen YouTubers who have played it are incredibly excited because they love this game. And this game was part of their childhood. And this is what they loved and what they played a lot. So I can see where they're coming from. I just don't have that nostalgia to it, so I'm not super excited, but hey, Nintendo did it. It's there. It's cool. Now for one of the bigger ones, Princess Peach Showtime. Now this one was hyped up in the last Direct after they only showed a tiny little bit. This is feels to me kind of like a mix between Super Princess Peach and Luigi's Mansion. And then it seems like with the different transformations of Peach, they kind of uh, did a little bit of a Kirby move there. But like the Sour Bunch taking over the theater, and that just kind of gives me Luigi's Mansion vibes, like the ghost taking over the hotel or the mansion, like uh, mainly the hotel in Luigi's Mansion 3. But I, I'm sure you guys can see where I'm coming from with this. What they did with the transformation seems fun to me. It's a cool gameplay mechanic. And the Sword Peach, and the Chef Peach, and the Ninja Peach, and the... Was there any, any others? I don't think so. But that this just seems like a very creative thing that they could have done. Because it's theater themed and all that. But, I mean, this is definitely better than another Super Princess Peach, I'll tell you that. I think the fact that Trombone Champ got a port to the Switch was really hilarious, because this goofy game on the Wii was uh, mainly used with the motion controls to control how you toot your horn, and I think it's a hilarious game, and I was, like, not expecting this, and I was went into the Direct, and I was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so funny. And I can't believe, still can't believe they did this. This is hilarious, and I'm glad they did it. I'll probably pick it up. Luigi's Mansion. Once again, this is just an HD port to the Nintendo Switch. We have Luigi's Mansion 3 on here, and I don't know if Luigi's Mansion, the original, is somewhere floating around on the Switch, but this game seems like it is a pretty good uh, little HD port that they can throw in as, like, the last big it says summer of 2024 now the new console is supposed to come holiday 2024 so supposedly this is going to be like the last big uh game on the nintendo switch which just seems like a good choice because luigi's mansion 3 did numbers for the switch like sold like hotcakes it's in it's incredible i've never played any luigi's mansions but i've seen walkthroughs and it looks fun i personally have never played it but maybe i will now f-099 baby 
every there was leaked to be some F Zero stuff coming, and it, it was speculated to be another uh, 99 game. Like they had Tetris and Pac Man 99, both uh, old school games, but with 99 players all at once. F Zero 99 looks like it is going to be hectic, like crazy, and like look at all the cars there's so so many and you know like the power meter is a cool idea like you can get ko'd and the placement out of 99 <laughs> this is gonna be insane and you can go up above everyone else that's a nice touch because um it might be too crazy having everyone going at once but the and the boost is as a risky thing that you can do to get a little bit of extra speed to try and win i mean just look at the map on the side and there's just so many cars all clumped together this is crazy like this is going to be fun it's exclusively for nintendo online members so i should i'll be able to get it warioware move it baby looks like they just took smooth moves and put it on switch baby let's go it's the same general game, but with more mini games. It's so this is so awesome that they would do something like this cuz Smooth Moves was just so good and I'm excited for this. Let's go. All right. So we got a sneak peek at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Booster Course Pass Wave 6, which is supposed to come this holiday. Now everyone is speculating since there's only two spots left in the characters section that we are just going to get two more characters for this uh, wave. So we got Diddy Kong, we got Funky Kong, and then they go out and say there's going to be Pauline and Peachette as well. This means that they're going to add an entire another row. So does that so that means that there's going to be over eight characters. Actually, I haven't done the math. There's going to be a ton of characters in this wave, as well as your eight tracks. Which makes me think, what if they actually did more than eight tracks? Because they did more than two characters, so what's stopping? This wave is going to be absolutely insane. I am hyped, I am ready, I will do a video when this comes out, and there will be so many new characters, I'm gonna have to change characters every race just to get them all in. Let's go, I'm hyped. For Mario Kart, baby. Also, by the way, Mario Kart Tour just, uh, they just announced that they are no longer going to be supporting updates for it, which means that they're probably working on a new Mario Kart for the new system coming this holiday, so get excited for that as well. It's just a good time to be a Mario Kart fan, am I right or am I right? It is now time for the big surprise of this Nintendo Direct. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now this game was leaked to be in the last Nintendo Direct, but when it wasn't there, people kind of forgot about it. So going into this final clip, people were expecting what, Metroid Prime 2 and 3, since uh, 4 is supposed to come soon, and they already released 1. But then this comes out, and everyone is shocked. This is truly a masterpiece. I mean, it's so beautiful. I mean, the, they redid this to perfection, and the graphics are unbelievable. People are saying that this is going to save Paper Mario, because some people are not happy with the most recent Paper Mario games trying to change it, and they say that they are much worse, namely Paper Mario the Origami King, which I think could have been better if they went back to the original battle system, but other than that, it seems like a pretty good story for Origami King, but the battle system really ruined it for him. This is going to be so good, and I am so hyped for this game. That's going to be all for today, looking through this Nintendo Direct. If you guys enjoyed this and, wa and want to see some gaming content, I'm currently playing through Mario 3D World until Mario Wonder comes out. If you guys are hyped for that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my videos. That's all for me, Pancake, from Pancake Gaming, and I will see you guys all in the next video.